Hello guys, my name is Giancarlo Duran and in this quick video I want to show you how you can make a direct connection between ProjectWise and your famous Power BI. And the main reason why I'm preparing this video is because we recently had this fabulous event about Power BI in the company, right? And the most common question I saw was about how we can make this kind of connection between Power BI and the different tools we use in our company. One of them, of course, ProjectWise. So if you haven't heard about ProjectWise before, let me just quickly show you what ProjectWise is about. And ProjectWise is just a kind of a web-based tool where you can store all your documentation for your project and you can kind of collaborate and you can see the workflow for each of the individual documents, how they go through different re revisions, right? So that is ProjectWise and we want to connect to, to ProjectWise server that is on, 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 on the web, right? Into Power BI. How can we do that? So for that, I'm gonna show you how to make this connection with four simple steps. So let's go to the first step here and I'm gonna sh share my screen now with you. And the first step we're gonna look at is we need to log in into our project wise using our credentials, right? And we need to open the file we, we want to connect with, right? So in my case, if I just go here, I'm gonna open my project wise account. I'm gonna find the, 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 the file I, I want to connect uh, with Power BI. And I'm just gonna open that file. In my case, it's gonna be an Excel, an Excel spreadsheet that is uh, located in, in project wise. So the Excel in, in my case is gonna be this one. And it's basically a tracker. It's a deliverable tracker for, for my project. So I'm gonna find here all that kind of documentation I need to sub submit as part of my stage gate process, right? And I have split this up in different work areas. So I have work area one, work area six, and so on, right? And for each of that work areas, I'm gonna find all the, the list of all the documents, drawings, reports, assessments and all that and uh, i'm gonna find here all the dates all the forecast uh, issue dates the forecast start dates and those days are coming up out of p6 basically it's just a, a formula connection within p6 and, and my excel spreadsheet so i want to see uh, as 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 i move on and i made the changes on p6 i want to see how this excel spreadsheet changes changes and also I want to see those changes reflected on my Power BI report. So for that, I have already produced a report. So it's, it's a tiny report we have in here. This is the uh, Power BI report. It's just basically a, a curve S, uh, accumulating all the documents by month that I need to produce, right? And I'm gonna group and sort them into the different work areas and the different disciplines I need to provide. Uh, in terms of documentation, right? And I'm just gonna follow through kind of this funnel process where I have that total amount of deliverables, how many I have already submitted, how many are under review and or are completed, right? That's kind of the whole process I wanna show here in this tiny, tiny report. Uh, and I then can filter them out by discipline or by work area as you wish, right? So now, I have already logged into my project wise, so I have fulfilled the, the first step and I already opened the file. This is my my spreadsheet, the file I want to connect uh, to Power BI. So we need to move on to the second step. And the second step is gonna be, we need to get the project wise path file. So I have this Excel file, this spreadsheet, so I need to connect this path file. I need to get this path file. So I'm gonna use that link to connect in Power BI, right? So basically what you want to do now, but uh, listen to me guys, this is very important. You need to create that bridge between your computer and project-wise, and that bridge of communication needs to be open, right? And what, what, do, you, what, do, you, what do you mean, Giancarlo? How does you need to, to open that bridge? It's just basically that you need to be uh, logged in in, in project-wise, Project wise need to, to, to read your, your credential and need to be open. So that bridge of, bridge of communication is, is working, right? So after I make sure that's happening, I'm just gonna go to file and I'm gonna get this path file. 
this is the most important information you need to get in order to make that connection to Power BI. So I'm just gonna click here. Uh, I'm gonna say copy link to clipboard, but this link is only gonna work as long as you have your project wise connection open. You, you, you understand me, right? So we copy that, that link and then we are just gonna go to Power BI and for that, we need to get that step number three. And the step number three is as easy as, as it sounds. We need to connect Power BI to that specific path file we, we got from ProjectWise, right? So now I open my, my Power BI. I open this Power BI uh, uh, document. And then I'm going to tell Power BI I need to get data. And in this case, I'm going to select from the web because I made a web connection between my laptop, my, my local laptop, my local uh, uh, hard disk to this web-based project-wise location, right? So I click on web and I'm just gonna use the path file I just got from my Excel spreadsheet. And I'm just gonna paste that and I'm gonna say, okay, as simple as that, guys. And now you're gonna see how Power BI is smart enough to find this location, this location that is pointing to your, your Excel file on ProWise, and it's gonna show you all the different tabs that you have within that Excel, you know? And in this case, I can just select work area one, work area six, and you can see here kind of the preview of all the data. And then you, you start all the process about that you already know, you, you even know more than me probably, that is about getting shaping the data, transforming the data, adding columns, sorting them out, and all that uh, uh, smart uh, stuff that you, you already know. So you need to transform the data in order to, to kind of produce any visual from, from it, right? So I'm not gonna do that because I already done that in my, in my Power BI, but this is that kind of that, that connection you need to pull the information out of project-wise file, right? So I'm gonna just press on cancel. I've already set this up. And um, what I want to do now, I'm just gonna go to the fourth step. And the fourth step is basically, I just wanna update the changes I, I see on my project-wise file, in this case, my spreadsheet. I want to see those changes reflected here on my Power BI report. That's the, the, the fun part, right? That is the exciting part. Uh, and in here, so if you just wanna kind of digest a little bit that data you see here I, I can see i can say for instance i want to see area work area number six and i will see that the p way the track and i can drill down here and i can i get to see all the documents all the reports that i need to produce in order to pass through my stage gate and i can compare that the baseline dates I, I can see that the new forecast if i if i find any any kind of deviation i'm gonna find in here uh, so you can do that. You can drill down in this report. You can see all the dates, variances that happen in kind of a, at that discipline level. Or you can, if you want, you can just select here and filter all only the structures, uh, only the structures uh, documentation you need to provide, and you can see them spread out over the time. Or also, if you just remove this filter, you can also kind of navigate here and hover over this November month, I can click on November and I can filter out which are the specific documents I need to deliver by this month in order to kind of meet my baseline. So I can see, okay, buildings and civils, I have all this documentation to provide by, by November and I'm already delayed a little bit in some of them. So I need to catch up with, with those documentation. I need to, to communicate that to the uh, lead uh, designers in that in that matter, right? So yeah, I'm gonna click off. And finally, I, we were just navigating through this report, but now I want to see how we can update this. So if I come back to, to my spreadsheet, in this case, I go back to this spreadsheet and I say, okay, I'm work area number one. And I, I already know that this this list of, of documents has already gone through the, the second stage that they have been issued uh, to the to the PEs or, or the person who, has going, who is going to, to review them. So I'm gonna mark them down as completed. I'm gonna put some dates. I'm just gonna kind of 
make it up right now. So it's just for, for the example purposes. So I'm just gonna paste those dates in here. So they have actual dates here and they also have some actual dates in here. So I'm, what I'm doing guys, I'm just updating the, the file that is located on project wise. But this is really important you remember guys, but because it's not, not enough to just update the file and then go back to, to Power BI and just refresh the, the Power BI file because nothing is gonna happen. What you need to do before you go to Power BI, you need to save the file. Why you need to save the file? Because you need this new data, the new update, you need to travel to, 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 the, to the web and be a store on the server on the web of ProjectWise, right? So you save those and once you have saved them, now finally you can come back to Power BI. See, you can come back to Power BI and we only had at the beginning three uh, documents submitted, zero review. Uh, so now I can say to Power BI, I want to do a refresh. I want to refresh my report, clicking here, and it's pulling the data out of work area number one, work area number six, and so on. And then you're gonna find that right off the of the back of the of your Excel on project wise, you get all your report updated with all the new submitted and review documents on your BI report. So awesome guys, awesome. This is the kind of connection we want to get when we are working with Power BI. I hope you like it. Uh, probably in another video, I'm just gonna show you how to create a cure of S for, for your reports, if, if that's something you, you want to learn. So yeah, let me know and see you on the next time. Bye.